from east to west and north to south. Group A will bring big names and big games to all corners of Europe, but will also feature two EuroLeague newcomers and recent qualifying rounds winner. As EuroLeague runner-up the last two seasons, Real Madrid is a group favourite behind reigning MVP Sergio Rodriguez and all EuroLeague selection Rudy Fernandez. But Los Blancos are taking nothing for granted. When you see the groups, uh, the easy thing is, OK, this group is going to be very difficult, this one is so-so. At the end, it's difficult to know because teams who maybe you don't think they're going to be as competitive, then they show a lot, of, uh, a lot during, the, during the group. A remade Anadolu FS Istanbul now has the great Dusan Ivkovic on the bench and three-time champion Stratos Perperoglu in the lineup. It's a group that we can uh, play well, we can get the wins that we need to go to the next round. Uh, that's what we need for the first round, just to move forward and uh, to improve every game. Another EuroLeague standard bearer, Jalgiris Kaunas, will rely on experience in the paint. From Robertas Yavtokas and Paulius Yankunas, but knows not to ignore the group's newest threats. Uh, we have two newcomers, Vesesari and uh, Nizhny Novgorod. Uh, they will be very hungry uh, to show all Europe that they can play basketball. Unix Kazan can't be called a newcomer, not after winning the qualifying rounds with established EuroLeague stars like Keith Langford, last year's top scorer, plus former champions Nikos Sisis and Kostas Kaimakoglu. But whether it's the team with the most EuroLeague titles ever or a first-timer, every team has the same goal at the start, to reach the top 16. The biggest thing for us, I mean, we, you, you got to get, get your home games. I mean, you got to protect your court and then you should have to try to get some on the, when you go away. And so. 